How's it going? This is Jason Groves with the Sun News. Um, talking about Saturday's 80 to 68 victory in New Mexico State over Idaho here at the Pan American Center. NMSU is now 13 and 5 overall, 3 and 0 in the WAC. Um, Marvin Menzies talked about the first thing he told told us after the game was that regardless of how it may look on the court, conference games is about winning conference seasons, about winning games, and that's what the Aggies did. They they outscored Idaho 11 to 2 in the last three minutes, three uh, three thirty, and um, Menzies is now 9-1 against Idaho, and MSU has beaten Idaho five straight times. So I think all those factors kind of played into tonight's victory. Idaho is a good team. They're a solid team. They have good guards. I'd like to see them play through Kyle Barone a little bit more. He's, I think he's a pretty good center. but um, Or maybe the Aggies did a good job on him tonight. Um, and MSU... Got to the free throw line 32 times. Uh, they were 17 to 21 from the free throw line in the second half. That's 81 percent. Idaho was nine for 12 from the free throw line in the game. That was a big factor. Um, NMSU did a good job at three point uh, three point defense. Uh, Idaho entered the game number seven in the country, shooting the three um, at 41 percent. Uh, Idaho was 33 percent tonight. Aggies did a better job in the second half against them in that regard. Um, Idaho is now 2-2 two and two in the WAC. Um, turnovers tonight got back up. Uh, if you recall, NMSU only had six turnovers against Utah State the other night. Um, they had 18 tonight. But Idaho does play a little faster, so that may have played, played a factor into it. But... Um, NMSU still unbeaten in whack play, as is Nevada. Nevada is 4-0. They beat Hawaii tonight, 77 to 74 at home. So Nevada and Hawaii, Nevada and NMSU, um, kind of at the top of the league by themselves now. Um, up next for NMSU is the San Jose State Hawaii trip. That's always a tough trip, regardless. And playing Hawaii is uh, that's going to be that's going to be a tough game for NMSU. But obviously they're hoping to sweep that road trip and come back and hopefully face Nevada at five and zero. That's their next home game um, on January 26th. Um, NMSU got uh, some big shots from Ernest LaRoche. Was big tonight. Um, every time Idaho. Made a little run at them. LaRoche uh, made a big play. He had a three. He had a three. He had a big three-point play, and then um, NMSU just kind of always held them at bay. And I think that says a lot about the NMSU seniors. Um, Wendell McKinnis, senior, 23 and 10. Hamadou Rahman, a senior, 12 and 6. And Ernst, 20 points. He hit all three. The Aggies were three for 10 from three-point range. He made all three of them. He was three for five. Um, Tyrone Watson is a junior, um, nine five with five assists. So just you know their experience and their size this time of year. I think that's gonna kind of carry the Aggies as far as those guys can take them. So follow me on Twitter at jpgroves, and we'll talk to you later.